I wonder how many people have seen this logo this year. Welcome to another uh, one-shot uh, Sonic game video thing where we are playing the only time that Sonic explored 3D on the Saturn, except for the two other times that Sonic explored uh, 3D on the Saturn. We're, we're playing some Sonic Jam! And I've, I've got with me here the usual Motley crew. We, we got we got us a Chris, uh, we got us a Steven, we got us a David, we got us a Skyler, and we got us the one who recorded this, uh, Goldstorm, otherwise known as Rob. Hello! Hi, Rob! You're forgetting, you're forgetting Christmas night, sir. That's four times. That is. Damn it! <laughs> We're recording this just before Christmas. Okay, I need to re-record this whole thing. <laughs> Wait, how many... <laughs> Right, Christmas. What were all the times Sonic was in 3D on the Saturn? All right, right, and, and then and, Christmas nights. Uh, bug, Sonic R. <laughs> bug, bug. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he's not technically 3D in Bug. It's the Sonic 3 sprite. Uh, bug races him, but it's still like a 2D plane. It it's fine. Don't worry <laughs> about it. But oh oh, oh no. Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, oh god, Sonic Jam looks terrible. What <laughs> happened? Everybody told me that Jam is one of the best emulations of the Mega Genesis Drive games is a fucking liar. Nice. Yeah, like how how do I unrecord? <laughs> oh well you just hit the stop button. Oh you hit the rewind feature. <laughs> oh. That's a good that's a good spring effect. I like <clears throat> Right, okay, so this is Sonic. There's mountains back. No. Oh, okay. Oh, oh there we <laughs> go. There okay, it is. Okay, we'll do this for real. That's okay, now, 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 Chris, <laughs> you've done you've done a video about uh, Sonic compilations recently. God bless me. Yes, I have. What do you think about Jam? I think that if I had to pick one to keep forever, I'd pick Sonic Mega Collection. But Sonic Jam is probably the best Sonic Collection because it has the coolest stuff in it, and I like the aesthetic way man. more. I like that flicky. It's green. I oh. wish this game wasn't a hundred plus dollars on eBay. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> it's one of the few I'm missing. That's but yes, expensive. Yep. Sonic World is amazing just for the fact of Saturn. Saturn Sonic is the best Sonic model in anything, and that that is a fact. I'll stand by it. He looks fucking adorable. I want. I just want to like play a whole game with this guy although I, I i downloaded the mod in sa2 to let you play as this guy and him and that's my favorite way to play sa2 now if porting saturn games wasn't such a pain in the ass i kind of think that jam itself might have been ported at some point down the line uh, that would have been nice i'd pay top dollar for jam right because then you except could... for the top dollar that i could pay for jam right now <laughs> right so by top dollar <laughs> you you mean the 60 dollars that's allotted to video games yeah i'd at least want sega to get the money for it and not joe schmo on ebay oh, hawking man. a saturn game for 150 bucks three yeah. red points yes there's there's oh uh, yes jose ah uh, yes joseph schmo oh man who who, that who, guy. who wants to explain what sonic's doing right now huh well he's running he's going fast i'm sure he's going to jump in a moment <laughs> mm, i don't know about that uh, well this was as far as I know, a prototype for Sonic Adventure, and the first time that... Oh, he jumped! Aside from Christmas nights we mentioned, the first time he was in 3D, so... Kinda yeah. needs to have stuff to do. I remember... Sorry. I remember my first exposure to Jam was actually in Mega Collection, when they were going over that History of Sonic video, and they made it look like Jam was a full 3D game, with the way they worded it, because they didn't show any Oof. compilation <laughs> bits, just this area. It's like, Sonic jumps into 3D! Yeah, I, I thought that too. For like for the longest time, when I heard about this game Sonic Jam on the Saturn, and I'd see like clips of this, it'd be like, "Oh, a full actual 3D Sonic game on the Saturn." I wonder why nobody talks about this. And then I learned it was a compilation. I'm like, "Oh, but I already have Mega Collection Plus. I don't need another. Uh, I don't sad. need another Sonic compilation." But it, but it's the the it's good. Wait, so <laughs> so who did anyone here have this game when it came out? No. No. Wow. None of us are qualified to talk about this game except you. Uh, that's true because I, I did get this. Uh, I got this. Hold in on, I gotta find tails. Oh. I found tails. Oh, oh God, there he goes. <laughs> you touched <laughs> Miles. Oh, oh. You did touch. <laughs> touch Miles. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Scrape knuckles. Oh, uh, you gotta find. <laughs> yes, uh, 
Uh, I got this, I, I believe it was Christmas of 97, because it, it had to, it was this and Sonic R, because I didn't realize this game uh, existed. I had a Saturn, I had 3D Blast, but I didn't realize that there was any Sonic. I was still waiting for Extreme. It wasn't, it didn't oh. happen. It Are you still happening. waiting? Yes, I am still waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time. Uh, I, I, I don't see any official cancellation notice. What are you talking about? <laughs> D David, mm -hmm. I was less than one year old at that time. You got Sonic Jam. <laughs> that that's no. We're excuse. at that part of the video already, right. huh? The David is old part. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I got it. Even though yeah. you know I had all the games on Genesis, I still needed it on Saturn because look at this thing. This thing is cool. It's like, oh man, it's Sonic, and he's running around the field, and oh man, I I used to uh, you know wonder if if there was something else outside these walls, if there was like a secret level a secret stage something going on because uh, I don't know mm. if you show it there is a, a bit where if you stand in the corner you can see a chunk of the floor texture where there's none uh, otherwise because it's outside the field <laughs> I don't show that I off I actually also missed the um villain part of the character house oh no Aww. but now I won't know who the bad guy is this is incomplete oh <laughs> I, I didn't get to write down that code. Could you go backwards? <laughs> <laughs> um, David, David, the way you feel about this area, that's the uh -huh. way I feel about the adventure fields in SA1, which, hey, mm. this is a prototype of SA1 technically, so yep. we've just bonded. I appreciate Ooh. that. It's what? about time you two got to know each other. Yeah, this is just SA1 if Green Hill Zone was a <laughs> hub world. Yeah, it's, it, it's a neat little hub world. I mean, it feels like... I really, I really do wish there was a full game like this. Cause I mean, I know Sonic is not super fast, but I feel like he didn't need to be super fast. He just needed to be faster than Mario at this has point this, in time. Has this been recreated in Robo Blast yet? Oh, it has to be. There's no way it hasn't been, right? I, I would be I'm surprised. Sure this, yeah. Yeah. I, I remember seeing this in RoboBlast Kart, at least, so it has okay. to be in regular RoboBlast. Yeah. Mm. Hi, Steven. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Not much, man. What about you? <laughs> um, I'm just sitting here with some friends online. Oh. Sonic oh. Jam. Oh. Steven, did you, did, you, did you have Sonic Jam? No. I never had a Saturn. Oh. Um... I don't know if I talked about this in the Chaotix LP, but... Uh, oh, that was only... so long ago. <laughs> yeah. Please tell us if you I, already uh... have anyway. Well, I got a copy <laughs> of um, of uh, Knuckles Chaotix, but I didn't know what a 32X was. And I was like, why doesn't it fit? <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, so, like, I didn't even know the Sega CD was a thing, or that uh, Saturn was a thing. I just went... S I, I skipped straight to Dreamcast. Uh -huh. so. Good man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Guys. I didn't pay attention. It's him. Larry, Larry, Larry is. I can't <laughs> land. I'm just stuck up here. <laughs> is Tails? Look, see, so Saturn, Saturn Tails can infinitely fly, but Dreamcast Tails can't. SMH. Right. Well, it's just, it's just um, non-playable Tails. He can fly forever, always. Is he just like a fast travel gimmick in this area? Not even fast travel. It's just certain places you can't go without him. Hmm. Also, he's cool. Rob, did you have fun playing this? Um, <laughs> I guess. No, no. If you have to think about it. Chris, did you have fun playing this? I did. It was nice to actually experience it instead of like through all the YouTube videos I watched growing up, trying to see what the hell this thing was. And it was that moment of like, Everyone I ever watched was like, man, this game world's really small. And I was going into it, and I was like, man, this game world's really small. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell are people doing this There's thing? There's not a lot here, but it just oozes charm. So it's hard to not enjoy it at least a little bit. Yeah, it's really cute. Nothing else. Especially if you go in just knowing what to expect. 
it, 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 yeah. it's basically the inverse of all of those like uh, fan demos when people are like, oh, here, here's our version of well, how we want a Sonic game to look like, and it's just a giant like empty plane with nothing in it just to run. <laughs> this is like a small plane, but with like a lot of stuff to just kind of like like there isn't a lot to run around in, but it's like it's a, it's an actual design world. So it's like oh yeah, it's just kind of like the granted given what the Saturn was capable of, this is kind of just the Saturn version of that to a certain extent. So, <laughs> control-wise, how does this feel in comparison to Sonic Adventure? Well, first of all, you're playing um, with a D-pad. Well, that, there's yeah, that. Yeah, it's eight-directional, so not great. <laughs> oh, Sonic Adventure DX. You, I mean, if you did get <laughs> the 3D... You could, if you had the Saturn 3D pad, you could uh, use the analog stick in this. Well, you can, you, can, well uh, you can use the analog stick, but is the control still eight-directional? Because it's like, if you have a control stick, and that, that doesn't automatically mean that it's going to, like, change that. Uh, it's like, yeah, it's like playing Mario 64 DS on a 3DS. Even if you're using the circle pad, it's still eight. I, yeah, like, it, it depends. Like, I know, yeah, like, so, like, like Spyro, uh, you can use the, uh, the analog stick, but it's still eight-directional. It's not, like, full analog control. Uh, it's the illusion of choice. Oh. I do not remember, because... <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I I didn't did have a 3D pad when I was a child. <laughs> you can only yeah, remember things from your childhood. Yeah, that's right. It's all <laughs> shame, David, for not having a 3D Saturn pad. Yeah, ah, what the all hell? Right, I'll, I'll be nice I, with a D pad. Our bond is it. broken. Loser. I have one now. As an adult. Oh, okay. I hate you. You didn't have the pad. That's right. <laughs> Cringe. <I hate> you. <laughs> the Sonic movie. Oh wow. Oh. We're not going to the credits is, first? Is but, Tom the cop did, in here? You, you did the why did the ring. You didn't jump into the ring yet. That's okay. We can do it oh. later. <laughs> what are you oh, okay. Okay, you're, you're I just, like that there's a it sold up. only in Japan on that one. They had to disclaim like, hey, you can't buy this one, sorry. <laughs> no, give it what it just six so the more kids years. don't ransack Blockbuster looking for it. Oh, David, I have a question for you regarding this animation. Oh, this yeah. didn't this animation was horribly compressed on the Sonic or the Sega CD. So yes, why do, why do we have this nice good version? Oh, because it's of, just like the original, and then it just looks shitty on CD. Yeah, I mean because okay. of the processing power of the Sega Saturn, you get you get super cool uh, full motion video as opposed to postage stamp full motion video. If, <laughs> if they knew the limitations, if they knew the limitations of the Sega CD, why'd they? even make this really good version. I'm glad I mean, they it was did, on the but PC why? version. Yeah, but I mean, they didn't know they were going to make the PC version, I'm sure, when they made CD. Yeah. The first right. They I, just I knew they would run into this Australian guy years later down the road. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might have been just forethought, like, oh, we're gonna, you know, we're hiring uh, a proper animation studio to make this. Uh, we should make it look nice, and and I, and I guess for the CD version, they just, like, redrew over certain frames. Like, it was really... Th there's a reason it's got, like, ten colors. That's not the right amount of colors. <laughs> I, I don't remember the exact colors. The but color is <laughs> limited, yes. Is it just... Is it, like, 512 I... or something? No, I don't remember. Uh, either way, someone will it's correct me in the comments. I just figured it's a... I just figured it's a case of they were already going to be paying money for an intro like this, and they probably figured they were going to reuse it in some form or fashion later on, mm. so they may as well make it something that could upscale. Right. I mean, they, they did reuse it almost immediately. Uh, there is uh, footage of this on the History of Sonic video that came with pre-orders of Sonic 3 in Japan only. Huh. So you, mm. so it was like, oh, you could see it all, all nice as opposed to the post-it stamp. <laughs> For the seven people in Japan who cared about Sonic, and it is weird that the the version the version on the Christian Whitehead ver on the Whitehead version is cropped, so it's not even yeah. like it's the full four by three. Yeah. So this is like really the like the best way you can see the full like original. Well, it is also you on Mega read collection. into it also that oh, yeah, Japan. Yeah. Right. I think it is a little better on Mega Collection, maybe. Speaking um, of yeah, no, it, it definitely is better on Mega Collection just because it's slightly more upscaled. Right. It's also on the DVD that came with that uh, 20th anniversary Sonic music thing. Oh, it's R2! Mm. Uh, you know? No? Uh, I think it was the 20th anniversary, unless it was the 25th anniversary. I'm getting my, my Sonics confused. Uh, <laughs> There's lots of them, that's understandable. Yeah, it, 
Yeah. Do you think they re-released it on these compilations just because they were like, hey, we paid a lot of money for this, but it looked so bad on the Sega CD, we gotta show it off. <laughs> we gotta. Yeah. Right, it's also... I'm starting to see what people were talking about with the ghosting on the ending animation. Sonic looks so cool! Wow, look at him go! Oh, look at that, he did a thing! Oh, now he's racing Metal Sonic! Oh, it's Metal! Oh, and it's nothing like how it plays in the game. No. I was very disappointed the first time I played it. I'm like, what are all these spikes and jumps doing here? Oh. Oh, yes! Uh, it looks like you held down X, Y, and Z when you press start. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm 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 still so amazed that I found this on VHS. Like nor normally when I when I make per, when I find when I find stuff I want to get I always hesitate in some way. This is the first thing in a long time that I saw it and I immediately just dropped the money and bought it. Uh, I, so I was like, what? I difference. didn't know this was this still existed. Uh, I had the VHS as a kid, but I don't know where it is now. I need to see if I still have it somewhere. Do you think they're gonna give a scene with Knuckles wearing the hat in the next Sonic God, movie? I hope so. <laughs> Even if it's like an accident, like Sonic and Knuckles are fighting and they land in a hat store and one lands uh, on him first. Or just a little, just a little joke like they just did with Sonic and Tails having to wear a disguise. Knuckles thinks that just the cowboy hat will make him blend in. Or yeah. <laughs> that'd be good. <laughs> or, or maybe like Knuckles walks into a comic book shop and he sits down next to someone, you know, a, a slightly, you know, a man. Who's past middle age, a little portly, mustache. Don't you do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, son, have you ever thought about wearing a hat? <laughs> oh man, it's... You must, have a very, you must have a very complex family tree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, I wonder what that says. I love this. I, I was so happy when they found uh, the original, uh, the original, that, the, the original audio. Oh yeah, they mm. did find this, a I'm good chunk like, of it, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. Only in some of it, though. Right. It was demo, mostly. Yeah, uh, but it was the... I am hoping Disco Tech can get this someday. Yeah, yeah. Feel, especially after the, the AOSTH release. It's like, yeah, and, and they also they, they did the Sonic X releases. So like, yeah, this feels inevitable for them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in the uh, meantime, we yeah. do have that one guy's recreation of the soundtrack. I forget his oh. name, I'll put it in post. Mm. Oh, <laughs> right. But I mean, we do have the full version of, of Lookalike. Like that's yes. the... what the fuck is this? This is uh, Sonic, the animation, Man... also known as what? Man of the Year. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's yeah, good. Look at that, Eggman. You, you, it, so it's much. such good anime. I wish there was more of this because this is so good. What kind of coffee do you think Eggman was drinking? It looked like it was just tomato juice. Uh... <laughs> That's probably what it actually is. <laughs> Look at all those people who love Sonic. Who's the studio who made this? You know, oh, this it, is the. It, um, it, it has to be TMS, right? Because that's what it looks like. TMS it, animation. I mean, the it's micro. I know it's. It, it was like. Um, Whoever did Looney Tune? Um, what was the '90s Looney Tune adventure? Yeah, yeah, Tiny yeah, yeah. Animaniacs and Tiny Toons, both <laughs> done by TMS. Yeah. Right, it was a sort of an animation test because you see they're they're mixing traditional two D with three D environments. Um, yeah, like it, it was specifically ooh, we're we're testing this out, and man, it looks it looks good. I like it. You gotta um, open your it's, heart, dude. It's part of me that suspects that with Yuji Naka Ego, especially as we all know more and more as the years go by, it is incredibly big. But they probably kept looking at the American Sonic cartoons and being like, man, what the fuck? Let's just do it. get a better one going. <laughs> How hard could it be to get a cartoon going? Well, Please and download Shoot 2048. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't I've opened been, it yet. And I've been playing <laughs> Shoot 2048. Um, Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh man. Right. Oh, damn. Shoot 2048 is a Yuji Naka version of that sort of game. I'll say that much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Can you imagine... If this was act an actual ride you could ride, I'd probably oh. die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Me no, on my way to Steven's house. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> uh, so, like, I guess you would be in a virtual roller coaster, so you would have done a little dip there. And then, like, around this part is Whoa. where you start feeling sick. <laughs> uh, and then you're like, oh, Whoa. yes. Uh, 
This is just me running to my house so I could record this video. Oh. <laughs> I like that they tackled the why don't we do loops in 3D question very early here. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. was this meant to be like a 4D experience before that whole trend took off? Um, I would have to imagine. Yeah, I I mean, it it was definitely made for that sort of reason. I mean, (laughs) Sega had their indoor music. I love (laughs) eggs. This is so stupid. (laughs) I forgot about his walk. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. He looks like a bowling alley animations be like. <laughs> right. He's like, oh, I like the little tippy toe, although I'm sure it's supposed to be flat, but it looks like tippy toes. Oh, I like of... that Wing Fortress Zone reference in the, uh, in the back and there. Then he di- and that's the end of the Sonic timeline. <laughs> <Zegman died. laughs> I like to think that the last video and this are connected, so this is Sonic celebrating Eggman's death. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh man, man Sega. more game collections need to have the commercials in it. I'll say it. Yeah, yeah. oh look at the moon, it's still in one piece. Absolutely. Um <laughs> One Piece. I really No, it's just facing the other way. Look, I, I I know people like the American commercials with with uh Hag and, and the man talking really fast. Excuse me? In a, right, like isn't it called Hag? Like Humans against he- humans against. Oh yes. Yes. yes, yes. I thought you meant the old lady from that one commercial, and I was like, "That's uncharacteristically <laughs> rude of David." David. Well, I think th- I think that was the '90s uh, attitude joke because it's humans against Genesis, and she's an old lady. So all those cool mm. kids who aren't yet teenagers can be like, ha, 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 "I'm gonna call you a hag," even though no kid would. <laughs> That's have what they that sounded like back then too. <laughs> yeah, I was there. I am I also five years this- old. Oh man, this commercial's good too. <laughs> We talked over it because it, it's just so short. Can That's you like okay. play them again? So we can... <laughs> oh, oh, oh! This right here—that's that's real. That's a real um, strip. Like they had a camera and they built the set and filmed it. Like yeah, like stop motion. It's true. Yeah, there's a that's picture cool. of it. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> where? Uh, the one that Stefan just put on the video. Whoa! Oh my god! I don't know where it is. I got gotta oh, go find it. That was nice of right, you. Well, because there's there's behind the scene footage on the on the VHS tape that came with pre-orders of Sonic Two. If you lived in Japan, none of this existed anywhere else. Sonic Q. Oh, they're oh, asking a really back important. again. I guess the answer's tails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I'm the answer. Hello. I wonder how game. much that shirt is. Oh. Oh, it's so good! Okay. I want that sweatshirt. Yeah, I wonder how much that sweatshirt is. <laughs> Wasn't this used in the end of one of the Sonic 3 videos? Uh, yeah. Do you mean you... FTCR Sonic 3 videos or an official Sonic oh, yes. video? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. right. We, I mean... we have a, in the video a fan of FTCR. Hello. <laughs> Please, we don't have fans. <laughs> I, 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 oh, I that art is so good. <laughs> Look at that box. We have someone who puts up with FTCR. There Ooh. you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that qualifies all of us. Oh, he said Oh, it. there it is. The thing. Funky, ac- yeah. Funky action, baby. <laughs> When I got a computer, I, I would put all the weird MP3 mixes that I thought were good uh, into a folder called Funky Action. <laughs> there you go, it's a little story. <laughs> so, David, how do you feel about them putting Sonic CD commercials after Sonic 3 commercials here? Um, <laughs> oh. T- technically, they put the Sonic CD opening first. Right, and also mm. they had Spinball in between 3 and CD, so I don't think they're accounting for uh, timeline. Taste. Maybe it's because like, it's technically a <laughs> spin-off, but the the Sonic CD commercial is like the best one. I love it. <laughs> Look at him go! He's got a walker. Oh. Not for long. They're just bullying that man. Yeah. Oh! He died again. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to the city to party. <laughs> what do you think CD wasn't put on here? Was the Saturn not really capable of cramming in with the other games, or did they intentionally avoid uh, it? Uh, um, it's a good question. Yeah. I'd like to think it was probably just a technical roadblock they ran into, since that seemed yeah. to be the running trend with these collections. Or The, oh, the yeah. PC version had just come out a year prior to this. Maybe they... 
of the sea. I, well, I know. I don't know. I mean, I mean, Sonic and Knuckles collection. All right, Sonic. True. Hmm. Wait, uh, I got distracted for a second. Were you, were you asking if why Sonic CD wasn't on here? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. I, I think it was uh, a technical limitation, as in size. Like they just didn't have enough size on. Because this is still a CD. So they yeah. take it, there's a lot of space for the for the for the games themselves and all this stuff and and I think it was like they just couldn't figure out a, a way fast enough to like make CD Boy. small enough to how fit big on there. how much data could fit on a Sega Saturn disc? It's like what six fifty seven hundred megs. Well, like doesn't Sonic one two three and K don't they all like take up four megs? Well, the ro- eight megs? Well, yeah, but these were uh, rebuilt from the ground up for the Saturn. So, I don't know if they're oh, the so same they take size. Up nine megs. <laughs> especially because they, they also have yeah. Because there's both. There's the easy version. There's the normal version. And I and think the original version. And I think of all the games. If I remember right, the level tracks are also wave files, so those can be pretty sizable. Oh. What they do that for? Uh. So you could listen to them all in the in-game CD player. <laughs> Whoa. Well, right, you, you can put the CD in a computer, uh, and, and, and there's all this extra. You can play all the audio. It's cool. Oh, um, oh look at the figure eight! I like doing that with 3D Blast Saturn just to get that music right. anywhere I need. Oh. I, I enjoy I these renders. Oh, is, it, is, is this Azuku's first director project? I think uh, it is. Uh, is it? I think so? Sonic I can't think of anything else he would have done. I mean, wasn't he the di- wait? No, wait. If Oshima, uh, right? Oshima was the director of Knights, right? So then, yeah, I guess. Oh wait. So. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but look at that. Uh, Oshima is supervising while Tails is flying. Supervising. He is. Super- I like. I like this friend. Also, yes. Uh, also, yes. Jam is his first director uh, after being a game designer from Sonic Three, Knuckles, uh, and Knights, okay. and 3D Blast, and then and also R, and then he directed Adventure right after. Aww. He gets associated so much with Knights as a key role these days. I almost forgot he didn't direct the first one. No. Huh. That's right. Oshima was directing it. He was too busy directing Knights. That's why he wasn't allowed to go to South America with everyone else when they did the uh, <laughs> the exploratory trip. No, it wasn't Knights. He was directing Burning Rangers. Forget it. Never mind. Story, <laughs> story's wrong. Someone forgot Burning Rangers? Can wow. you imagine? I know, right? <laughs> oh, man. Sonic Theme Song 93. I was confused by that as a kid. I was like, what is Theme Song 93? Because it's just Sonic, you can do anything. So I um. embarrassingly asked what it was on Usenet back in the '90s, and <laughs> no one answered it? me correctly. <laughs> again. I, I kind of like that. that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I kind of like that title better though. Mm. Uh, well, that implies that's that Sonic's theme, which it should be. Like it could be used a lot. And Sega owns dreams the come true. music. Man, music Gucci's on this. Not the words. Uh, <laughs> I also like this music. I like these credits. I like I everything like about this, honestly. Sonic Jam is good. Um, I do. I wish there was more mission. It's like you you get to do like seven missions that take less than ten minutes, and then bam, here's the credits. Oh, it's like come on, give, give us a there little is, bit more. I know there is a mode that I think you have to input a special button combination, but you have to catch all hundred rings in an hour in um in one minute. Yes. Ooh, speed run. Um, an hour? It's, it's Easy. Easy. Apparently Easy incredibly game. hard to do, uh, and you don't get anything yeah. when you do it. Mm. Does it even save your time? No. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Between is... that and SA1's no reward for 130 emblems, I think maybe they were just mean back then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I was never able to do it myself. That is everything to show off in Sonic World, right? 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 I don't know. No. But what about the human world? 